Hello! I am finally going to use this box of graffiti tint pencils. I think you can see them in my Christmas art haul, which I will link down below. And yeah, I've had them sitting there. I've been really wanting to use them. And of course, so many other things have cropped up in the meantime. But I made sure that I scheduled in some time to have a look at these because I'm dying to use them. I have used a few tinted um, graphite pencils before and the graphite tint ones I had maybe three or four of them but I ended up getting the whole set of 24 and yes let us get in and have a look at them. See look how lovely and pristine they still are. <laughs> I've put them in order. I actually took them out of the box and had them in my pencil tower, but I thought I'd put them back in the box today because it's just easier to use a small set of 24. And I've put them into the order in which they are numbered. So basically they go from one through to 24. I'm not too sure if the spectrum is going to be as perfect as I would like, but never mind. I'm just going to swatch them all out first so we can see what they're like. These are water soluble, so I will be painting them out and then I'm going to do an artwork using these. So let's get started. Finally getting to use them. Yay! Now I was going to do this in my etch a sketchbook but that's a landscape in a size A4 and I really want to do an artwork that's in a portrait format and is larger than A4 so I'm going to use some Fabriano paper today. This is hot press. Normally I don't really like hot press paper but I really do like Fabriano Artistico's version. This one is extra white. I think it's one of the few papers that comes in that lovely bright white rather than being the off color, the creamy color, which most watercolor papers tend to come in, especially if it's cotton like this is. And I like the texture of it. There is a slight texture on this paper. And I ended up a while ago getting some paper on sale and it comes in a pack of 10 and it's not going to fit on here but I'll just pan my camera a little bit you can see it's really really big look at it, it goes all the way off my desk and I've had this sitting in my paper rack I've actually I think got another packet as well because when they're on sale and really good sales I think it was 30 or 40 percent off normal price so yeah I just stock up when paper goes on sale because it's a lot cheaper Fabriano Artistico is an expensive paper and to buy it in pads and things like that costs more than it does to buy single sheets like you can get in here and a pack of 10 again costs cheaper than buying a single one so why not I just really need to use it all all right I've drawn up a chart and put all the names in so now I'm just going to swatch them out on the paper and wet them so we could see how much they dissolve and we'll go through the colors one by one just so we can see what they look like so the graphy tints work in the same way as any other water soluble pencil like watercolor pencils as you can see here as soon as I touch water to it it dissolves out and I was going to leave some of the pencil dry but then I just decided to paint the whole thing and dilute it all so basically I'm coloring it about halfway and then painting it to see how far the color will spread the port and the juniper are both really pretty colors but from all accounts everything I've read about the graphy tints they are not very light fast in fact quite a lot of them especially I think the purple colors will actually fade over time and I've seen a few people posting about them that basically all they're left with is the graphite color so I'm really interested to see what will happen with my drawing and I'm sure I'm probably going to lose a lot of the color in it but I'm not really planning on selling it as an original piece. I might put up some prints, but that's about it. So I'm going through, I've done the aubergine, the dark indigo, the shadow, the steel blue. As you can see, they're all very deep colors, but then we come to this ocean blue, which is a much bluer and brighter color. I really love the ocean blue. That has to be one of my absolute favorites. Most of them, like the slate green here, as you have already seen, are very muted. And the green-grey as well is also a very muted one. 
you can just see it's a nice different tint of green now the meadow color it looks quite dull here but as soon as I paint it out wow so bright and green that one's an amazing color that's also a favorite of mine and I also like the ivy as well it's a bit darker but both that and the meadow go well together and the sage I think is another green but it's a lot perhaps browner than the other two but yeah they're very complementary with one another now we're going into the browns and I really love the chestnut color I think that's a really really pretty brown and I think I ended up using that one quite a lot in my final drawing I noticed in this set that there really isn't any particular color that would work for fair skin but I found that the russet when you dilute that out is actually quite good so that's about the closest I could come to a light skin color obviously the cool brown is much darker as is the cocoa and coming into the autumn brown this is one is really red by comparison yeah you can see that lovely red brown color so that's another one that I really really like and I think Probably the ocean blue, the meadow, and the autumn brown are the brightest colours, and then the rest of them are more muted, subtle versions. So going into the greyer colours, they vary from the warmer greys into cooler ones a bit further down. The midnight black is a bit disappointing. It's not as dark as I would want to be. It's more like a dark graphite colour than an actual solid black. So yeah, that's probably my least favourite of the set. The mountain grey is quite nice. I prefer the, the cloud grey over the mountain, I think. And the cool grey, again, is another nice one. It looks light on the pencil, but it's actually quite a lot darker. And that's probably maybe the truest graphite colour there. And the white's okay, but doesn't show up here. Here they all are. A wonderfully muted palette. Except for that meadow green, that's really, really bright. And the ocean blue is quite bright too. I'm really digging the meadow with maybe either the chestnut or the autumn brown. So yeah, it's a really interesting palette. No yellows obviously, but that's okay. I imagine a yellow would look pretty dingy when mixed with graphite. With this palette, the first thing that immediately sprung to mind is steampunk. I just, I really like steampunk. Um, I'm fascinated by it. I think it's such an interesting subject matter and I really love some of the outfits and things that I've seen people wearing so I looked around to see if I could find some inspiration and I came across this photo on Pixabay it's of a guy in a really cool steampunk outfit so it's a bit of an ambitious one but I think I'm going to try and draw this because I think the colours could be really fun I may not stick to the exact colours on here because I really want to use the meadow green and also use as many of the colors as I can hopefully so yeah this is my inspiration I will link it down below this is what we're going to do today so let's get started all right so as I'm not super amazing at drawing figures what I've done is printed out the picture in the size I want and I went over it but I thought I'd show it now like that with my just a draft piece of paper here and what I'm doing is I went and just traced a very basic outline of his face and his body just so I could get the proportions because I could just see me spending forever trying to get those eyes right. And what I've done now is you can see here, and I'll just switch over lights because that's really hard to see. So now what I've done here, you can see I've just done a really, really basic outline. I haven't put in any of the details or anything yet. Um, and what I'm going to do now is just sit here and draw the details in copying it from here because I really don't want to trace the whole thing. It's a bit of a cop out doing that, but I think that sometimes if you just want to get something started and I also have a very short time constraint to actually finish this, doing a basic outline is just a really great way to get a drawing started and then you can add in your own embellishments and things like that afterwards. And so it's kind of like a hybrid of a basic trace and then the rest of it I'll draw from referring to the picture and just freehanding. Because the Fabriano paper is so expensive, I really like to get my drawing right on a draft piece here, which is just some printer paper, and then trace it out onto the nice paper so then I'm not getting a lot of rubbed out marks and things like that. Because using an eraser on cotton can 
damage it a bit so the less rubbing out you do on the cotton paper the better <laughs> so yeah I'm just going to go through it's going to take me a while to draw in these details I'm not sure if I'm going to do it exactly like the drawing or if I'll just take elements from it I'll see how I go as I work through it so you can see I've already made a start up here I'm just going to sketch up here and work my way down And after much faffing about, here is me actually using the graphite tint pencils to fully render this picture.
and here we have the finished piece. So, what do you think? Let's just bring it up a little bit closer. It's maybe not quite as detailed as my initial pencil sketch. I did lose a little bit in here. Some of that was just because I lost track of what I was looking at and kind of coloured it over. But never mind, I mean, these things happen. I'm actually really happy with it, how it came out. I really enjoyed using these pencils. I thought they were awesome. They do have a few issues. The main one is that they lift really easily. Oh my goodness. As soon as you put the paintbrush on them, it just takes off all of the graphite so yeah I found that if I had a bit more water in the brush and I just kind of gently brushed the water over and let the water soak in that seemed to work better rather than moving the paintbrush around too much although sometimes I did I thought that the black wasn't the greatest it's um it says midnight black but really it wasn't very black I struggled to get a lot of value out of it, but I did my best. I really love the browns, the purples, and the greens are really nice. The ocean blue is super pretty. The white, it's you can at least see it a little bit, so that was good. It is very cloudy though, milky, so don't expect to get super white highlights. I mean, I was sorely tempted to use some white ink, but no, I just decided I was only going to use these pencils, and that's what I did. I have to say I'm pretty darn tired after drawing that. I did this over a couple of days, probably took me about uh, 10 hours or so to colour it, something like that. And yeah, I'm a bit pooped now, <laughs> so I'm going to have a break. But I will be coming back really soon for another video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to click the thumbs up button. That really helps my channel out and drop a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already done so and I will see you again really soon I hope you're all having a fantastic day swatch you later bye